You think it's close to the door a little bit more? Close the door? You think it's close to the door? Turn it down a little bit. Or close the door, do what you do. Let's see what's going on with the door. All right, bet that's smooth. Hold on, let me wipe off my jump. My should be low. I'm sorry I lied to you, Martin. I just wanted to go to Virginia.
Man, it's like it's too much history. That's extremely hard to do.
Yeah, that's what life is. Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. Not for sure. Yeah, I'll just figure this. Don't know. Like, I don't know if my parents told me today, he was like, uh, if you barely know, like, what the best decision is for you sometimes, like, how's another motherfucker gonna decide, like, some shit with you? <laughs> like, sometimes we don't even know the best decision, we just, just gotta make a decision. What about that? We should go with our best Intuition is everything. Boy, intuition is so important, bro. But sometimes you really gotta listen to yourself. My God, you never lie. It never, like, never fails. Even though we don't have to worry about it, we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. We lost, but we know what we're doing at the same time. That's how I see it. You said what? We lost, but we know what we're doing at the same time. Yeah, I'll just be praying. No, for real though. I mean, just learn it as you go, too, though. Learn it as you go. Low-key manifestation. Not for real. Not for real. You talk about something, then you end up having it. Like, dang, like, I really put this into, like, fruition to get it. Just off, like, words, you know what I mean? Words really powerful. Like, tongue's the most powerful thing ever. Oh, God. Like, watch what you say. Man, what y'all think about them um, vaccine passports? Oh, that's a thing that they're like really happening in yep. Singapore countries. In New York? <laughs> in New York, you got a vaccine passport to like fucking get into restaurants and all that shit. That's crazy. Like, if, you don't, if you're not vaccinated, you can't oh, sit down. Oh, okay. It's like a, like, to get into places. It's not like a national, like, passport, like, requirement. Shit, it, like, to get on planes like, and plane, shit. Like, yeah. You have to have a, a vaccine, I think so. Really? I don't want to tell you the wrong shit, but I believe so. That shit works. That is crazy. You can't even send a restaurant to that. Yeah. Okay. I be trying not to say it to me. I be so mad. You can't be coming out. We'll I'm trying to stop it. Hey, we'll, we'll get it. Right. I be trying to stop that shit just harsh. <laughs> that joke is hard, bro. Alright, y'all go to the next question. Wait, did we even answer the question? Oh, this one about high school relationships going to college. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So next one's from the era. Modern day gen- gender roles are they still effective today? Anyway. That's a good question. I don't really that know. is a really good question. I'm not I like that one. Okay. I feel like modern day gender roles there's a lot of toxicity in both like like masculinity, femininity, like men and women. But I feel like now we're in a space where like, we're, like, I'm trying to say I fuck with you in like, no, not, not for real. Like, I feel like, but certain things I feel like people will not let go of. No, like, that's that. true. But it also goes to trauma. Like, the black community, like, man, they're very, like, nope. they tend to be homophobic, like, a lot. Like, no, no, sure. Very, especially, like, islanders. And, oh, yeah, like, like what? Islanders, like, foreign parents. Because, like, they grew up in a different kind of era, you know what I'm saying? And now we live in a like, you know, country where, like, you know, being, you know, openly gay is more acceptable, you know what I'm saying? It's celebrated too, and I, I really like that too, so I like, I just feel like they just gotta, they just gotta understand. Yeah, it is, it's different for them, but you gotta. Like, they ain't grow up on that, like, in yeah, this world. Yeah, you know? but people who are, like, out with the they're not hurting you, like, they're not trying to change who you are, they're not trying to, like, they're not, these people are not. Crazy. Even while they just being themselves, they just, yeah. they're, they ain't free. Like you can't hit on a person for being free. I feel like some people envy that to like, damn, like that person living in truth. I feel like people get jealous, you feel me? Like, I swear, like, people be like, when like, you be living in truth and they just are who they are, they don't care about it, bro. Like, those are the most free spirited people. Well, the most powerful thing you can do is not give a fuck. Nah, for real. Just live your life, I'm telling you. Nah, for real. Nah. Like, you said it best, bro. Right? <laughs> but when, no, when, 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 like, when a motherfucker realizes you don't give a fuck, like, when they talk about these people, they be like, oh, damn. That's it. That's crazy. I feel like black guys don't got enough fucks to give right now. Like, you gotta grind. Yeah. <laughs> like, you gotta get to the Yeah, we have the mindset that we feel like nobody really care about our problems. And that's what we're gonna say. That kind of uh, yeah, the pandemic was tough because of the situation, but like, you learned a lot. Yeah. It put a lot of strain on the mental health. No, no, for real. Seeing artists, I feel like it made us like, negative, 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 
so much bad shit was just happening. It was so it just, it, negative in the world. How was it for you, buddy? Like, hey, how was it be locked up to the crib? It was okay. It's kind of one of the reasons why I started doing hair. Like, I learned how to do not with braids because of, like, not being able to go out and, like, eat, enjoy something. I don't want, I'm home, I'm not doing anything. I don't know how to do this. So I'm like, I want to do my hair. And it's like, you being cautious around people, so you don't want to just go to anybody to do your hair. Two, two days later, you cough me, you sick. No, for sure. Like, yeah, so I just, when I eat two, and I started just, Doing my hair. You can teach it. Well, you can like anything on YouTube. Tell me it stops on YouTube right now, please. Oh, sure. Hey, I'm still in a phase where I'm watching other people do it. Like, I'm watching all the signs to really get into it. And then I'm just like. That's like some new. I'm watching another YouTube video. I'm yeah. watching another YouTube video. You gotta read your like, stop books. Yeah. That's just a lot of stuff. It's just a learning process. For sure. Yeah. It is. You gonna lose some money. For sure. Don't even go into it thinking you're gonna make some money. I mean, you can you, you yeah, make money, like, but you just gotta, like, you just gotta, like, be yeah. strategic. Yeah. God. It's numbers, like, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers and it's based on, like, I call it a white lose, and lose to a certain extent, too. True. Like, knowing what's going on current events mm -hmm. and numbers. And understanding patterns. I hate how that, like, shit fucks up the economy. Like, I literally got kicked out of school because the stock market closed short one day. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Education should be free. I honestly don't get why education is so much money circulating. For 4,000? 4,000 to take four classes. Not to. Like, but think about it. That's so drunk, bro. Think about all the money we spent on the pandemic. Like, think about how much, like, how much, like, does one school cost? Like, I like, so Probably. here, I think the average tuition, like, let's say, like, in, in state, like, what, 9000 If you get a dorm in your classes? Like, yeah. And like, if you get financial aid, you're still paying, like, five cents. But they drop a trillion. So huh? it's like, that ain't shit. Like, they can, the government can pay for it if they want to. Like, they would just get more debt. They don't want to. Yeah, but ain't how that. much debt are we already in? But like, they say, um, national debt is good. Okay, so we don't want that. You have more national debt than another country. Yeah. I would think about moving like five different countries. We're fucking We all know each other. Which one? Um, it's just like we're all people. We all need the same basic things. Can we just get on page? Please? Yeah. 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 What's y'all opinion on um us like pulling uh, the troops back from Afghanistan and them niggas taking over and them niggas taking over Afghanistan? That's it. Oh, that's not good. Like, it was crazy. Like, I was watching the news and people were literally trying to, like, fly out. Like, people were running. Yeah, they were, like, yeah. on top of each other. Like, trying to. No, on the plane. Like, they yeah, were, like, holding on to the outside of the plane, falling, like, playing up yeah. in the sky. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and it's crazy to think that the Taliban is going to do this shit. That's, like, such an unreal, like, image. Yeah, like, it. But like, people are giving Joe quite a lot of backlash, but it's like, why would I let all my folks die? Like, I think it's smarter to like, just let these people come live with their money and just pull back out. Okay, my thing with the government, though, my thing with the government is, okay, you remember during the war, like, what were they really there over? Like, they, the Americans had no, like, reason to be over there, for real. Okay, to stop communism, but like, they were paranoid, basically. So now people actually need help. Like it's people that are like dying now, like regular civilian communities that haven't been. They just anymore. tell them for no reason too. Yeah, so like I see why people are upset of them like just pulling them. But the military is something to scare me. Like it's literally they target terrible, like they're literally so terrible with the organization. It's like right. I feel like they justify killing. I feel like no killing is justifiable. Mm. I, I just like, I just can't like, that's just me though. It's like, to the scale though, it's like the scale. If somebody's scale. trying to kill you, like, the natural instinct of kill her. I just, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I was saying, like, it's either you or them. Regardless of the situation, you defend yourself, you gotta live with that. Oh God, like, that shit. But I feel like in a, in a like, 
world space where if you do what you do in your country, I know this is different from the world, but why would they have to arise to the point of like murder? Like I'm, I'm literally going to kill your people in a way. It's greed, it's corrupt, but that's like what we were based on. Like these countries are built like that. I'm just saying we're born broken. Do y'all believe we're born broken into the world? We're born with trauma. Yeah. yeah. We're born Especially black people. Like so black people are born with trauma. trauma. Like your genetics lose trauma. Yeah, like, I feel like, yeah, a lot of us just kind of stand through the past, like, like, the quote, um, my ancestors. You should have been back to that slavery. Hey, it was still, like, I'll be feeling that shit sometimes. I'm like, you can just tell when a motherfucker, like, just get, like, just don't like you. I don't even get stared at like you can feel like you can feel the racism. Yeah. I mean I feel like Like, it's, like he to, said, that shit is like a spell. <laughs> like, yeah, if you yeah. drive killing and shit like that into a motherfucker head, like, that shit, they hear that shit every day. Yeah. Just driving to work or going to pick up their baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I make sure I listen to positive music. You can, like, you can tell, like, when music having, like, a tone in your mental. No, nah, for sure. Like, you always listen to, like, violent stuff. You, not, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not you just be, be angry. You're not gonna be good mentally, you know what I'm saying? You know, listen to throwing up fucking guns. Cause you, like, you feeding your brain that, you feel me? You feel your brain violence like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I be getting so off talking the topic. But it's good though. I'll take it. It's conversation. It's just, yeah. All right. This is another one from Sunshine Snacks. How, how school can be a beacon for depression? High school? Just school in general. Um, because you're like on such a schedule in a way it's like you do the same thing yeah. for a prolonged period of time. School really do get repetitive. Yeah. Like the schedule is so strict and they don't allow for like individual individuality in a lot of ways. It's like a modern day prison system. Like, but it kind of strips you of what makes you individual. Okay. So how you good to be like everybody else? Yeah, like you learn the same way everybody else does. Teachers are not gonna like make you a special program because you learn like this and the class learn like that. No. Everybody gets taught this. I'm sorry. Everybody gets taught this. And that's just what you're gonna get taught. Like you ain't gonna say it. Yeah. But school like protect you from the real world. It do give something. Yeah, it does. It does. I'm like, if I had no school, I'd be so bored. I don't care. Like imagine niggas that don't be in school like 14, 15, 16. What the fuck you be doing? I got another question. It's from Candace 2X. Social media's impact on this generation. I I love I like social media and like I like to see what it can do for people. Like people can start vibing Come up. like generational wealth on social media. No, for real. But like it gets to the point where it's harmful to a lot of young young people. Like especially when you grow up with it, like if you're growing up with it. Like kids are getting younger and younger listening to like Murder. Hard ass shit like We was at the fucking park Sub kids should not be listening to And it was like a fucking six year old And he knew all the lyrics to um King Crazy Von. Story um by King Von right. yeah, yeah, it's 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 little, little, like, bro, it's He was, he was like I'm in trouble I just listen I'm like bro what the fuck And he did his turn Yeah like now all, niggas, all, all little kids know this how And like TikTok and Like that's all they know Literally that in the game. Yeah, I appreciate not going off with all that. 
when I was young, like young, young like that, we didn't have that. All we had was Subway Surfers and Vine. Oh, like, even like, before, like when niggas started off with tablets and stuff, like <laughs> they didn't even have like, niggas had iPods before they had phones. But like, how do y'all use the like, um, They had the Kindle too. Yeah, the like, Kindle Fire, that was my shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, like, I feel like we had grown, we had more like childhood in a way. We had to explore more. Hey, we no, just like before social media, like we know like, what it's like without having phones and all that stuff. We dibbled and we dabbled, you, you know? know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we was like the last generation was like, it was like, you was like, born into it. You know? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Like, we're not, we not born into the social media generation. We like it came in like at our like fucking eight like. When was like you know? Sit like seventh grade until now. I didn't catch social media was around. I remember like being in like fifth grade. Using it was. It so was. I said like from late elementary transition to middle school. Mm-hmm. That's when it really like kicked. Me. Who knew Instagram would fucking ruin people's minds like this? Yeah, all right, too. Like, that shit crazy for real. I feel like that should be a part of like therapy. Like social media therapy, I feel like that should be a real thing. Uh, bro, no cap, because people, people feel like that's their life. And it becomes some people's lives. Like that's all. That's that's, that's it. So crazy. Like Instagram is their life. I don't believe. I don't believe nothing on the internet. I barely be but like want to be on Instagram sometimes. Nah, only like, reason, I, I, only reason I be on Instagram and social platforms is to like yeah. brand myself to make money. Yeah. You can't let it consume you. Like using it as a tool to like better your life, upgrade. Like I'm all for that. You gotta make Instagram your slave. You can't to the point where you're losing sleep. You're losing. Like, oh god, that's so like weird. Like people in your life, you're making terrible choices because Instagram. Oh, yeah. That's what you feel like you have to do for Instagram. That's ridiculous. And niggas be Leasing living. cars for Instagram, your oh. credit is fucked up, sweetie. Get, get that shit <laughs> first. Like for Instagram, yeah, it's, it's, oh. it's affecting. Yeah. It's affecting a lot of people. Like social media got positives, but it got its negatives too. Uh. Like it's negatives, it's like whoa. Social media negatives is bad. Bro. Like, I really like. Do you even think it's a balance? At this point in life right now, I, I think it care, hurts yeah, more. I, really, I, I, I see more negative than positive. But, bro, you can it's make a whole so lot of money on there, there, bro. Okay, facts. It's a, it's a world. You can generate millions. Like, Not even I, all that. Like, all platforms. Making millions off an app. TikTok, like, all that junk, bro. Like, this, like YouTube and all this stuff is like being a real, like, millionaire. Okay, but I feel like it's always been people doing wild shit to make money. Like, Right, like, oh, yeah. so weird shit, like you're making money. Boom game. So I feel like they change. <laughs> that nigga woke. I feel like yeah. I feel like they. There's always been people who have been like doing wild shit. It's just we see it now. Like it's we can easily see the come up. Yeah. But I feel like back then it was people doing wild shit. Like what you did that to like that's your career. That's what you do. So I remember stuff like that. Them niggas online. It just changed with the times. I love Vine. Vine was my shit. I still watch Vine compilations on YouTube. I don't care. They be I don't. Like, mm-hmm. They're entertaining. I be watching them trying not to laugh. Anyway, I thought that I be watching some Vine compilations. Yeah, I got one. I want another one. Hell yeah. yeah. I said, what is basically the same question from Sunshine Snacks? How kids who get all A's or A's and B's can become depressed keeping the, you know. I got a question for y'all. Nigga, wait, say that again. How kids who get all A's and B's can become depressed keeping the day grades up? Oh God, I don't know, Ken. That yeah. shit true. It is. Cause they, I feel like people set, they feel like they set too high of a bar for themselves and like, they be feeling like they can't live Especially when their parents yeah. like enforce that shit heavy? Yeah. I got like, I got like good ass grades in high school, but like, it don't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a number at the end of the day. Like, bro. It's really just a number that yeah. In the real world, in a way, I kind of don't. Like, Nobody gonna ask you. As long okay, as you pass that motherfucker, yeah. like as long as you, as long as you pass that motherfucker, you graduate. Everybody oh, at the end got a degree. Everybody got a degree. I really think high school. No, you don't count. Like, Even if your ass had like a one point seven, your ass still graduated. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a numbers game it's to the point where it's fun. Only way that shit matters is really to get into school, but it's like, all schools really teach the same things in different ways. Education is education at the end of the day. Yeah. But people really do be like stressing themselves so much, like anxiety over 
like work. Like that's how you can put yourself in a depression. Like you make it so important in your life where like that becomes your life. Like if I get a B on a thing, I'm not worth it. Right. Yeah, like uh, I'm not worth it in a way, like I'm not good, I'm not valuable. But it shouldn't be like that. Try not to let numbers ruin your life. Even though folks be saying the world is a numbers game. No, it's not. It's your game. And you make it whatever you want it to be. Whatever works right. for you. For sure. Hold on. All right, I got a question for y'all. Do y'all feel like people that watch anime, like people, like, if you like, if you're getting the anime, you're more susceptible to like be more depressed. No, nah. nah. I don't think so. I feel like there's no correlation. Like, uh, nah, that shit, that shit. anime is like very. I feel. Nah, like, I know. I know. Anime has helped a lot of people. It has. I feel like it helps people out it of depression. Helps a lot of people. I feel like it inspired creativity. Like you know how many people make friendships off of just loving the same anime. Nigga, anime is like a conversation. Stuff. It's just like an energy. What? Like, oh, you, like, you like anime? Like, you just, you know, what anime is you fuck with? The color is. Okay, don't judge me, but I've watched anime. There's like little girly ones. Like the little. The little what? The, the little girly ones, like the main mangas. Like, I've been watching uh, those are like one type of romance. Like, I like that. Can I have you ever seen. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen that? Uh, what's that joke called? Is it B Stars? B Stars? I started it. I That's shit good. That was like the first ever like drama anime or Psyche K. Psyche K is a mug. I like um I like the I like shit with like superpowers and stuff. Nah, like you ever seen like the heart? Yeah, but like I like shit. like have you ever seen Naruto cool as hell? Naruto just so damn long. <laughs> Like, I can't commit myself, because I know I'm not finna finish it, so I'm like, I'm gonna start that. What episode did you stop on? Like, seven. But the thing is, I'm already discouraged, because I know how many episodes is to come. You got to I see it through. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Alright. What's your stance on cancel Hunter? That shit is stupid. It doesn't exist. Huh? It doesn't exist. Yeah, cancel culture was trying Who got canceled for real? Maybe Adidas. one person. Huh? But that's all I can say about cancel culture. I don't even like it too deep. I said Adidas, but Adidas? it's a meme. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got, hold on, I got to think of the scenario first. I Go ahead and ask a question because I got to think of how I'm going to formulate this question. Can I ask another question? Yeah. Alright, what's your stance on vaccinations? I fucks with it. I think, I yeah, think folks should go get vaccinated. Honestly, I feel like... It's either you gonna get COVID or you get vaccinated. Like, it depends, you know, what you're more comfortable with. Unless you're it's something in my intuition that's on me. It's not for me. Yeah. Like, there's not something I need to do. But, like, I wouldn't shame nobody for not getting vaccinated. I wouldn't shame nobody. Anybody for getting vaccinated. You, you do what you want to do. It's right, your it's body. Your body. It's your Yeah. You do what you want to do. Don't try to put nobody down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's too much. Degrade them niggas. Oh, like, none of y'all know what the hell this really is going on for like, real. So, let's not, let not nobody pretend like we know exactly what's happening. We don't. So let us all make our own little decisions and live the life we want to live. True. Here's a scenario. So like, say you fought with someone, but like, you really been fucking with this person, but like, it's just like, you can't really fuck with them because like, you got like, you got stuff with your past and stuff like that. For any past situations into current relationships? Not like that. You're like, you're reflecting or projecting? Nah, none of that. You just be scared to like, want to put yourself through another relationship. Because of past things. Yeah. So you're projecting that the person that you might be with might do the same thing. Like, you're scared. Nah, I don't want to hurt them. Uh Uh-huh. I don't know. I've never... It's it's more, it's not even, it's like, I'm protecting myself, but at the same time, it's like, I know myself because it's like... Yeah, I guess you just wait until you grow until you can be with that person. Like, if you are if you truly love somebody and truly want to, like, care about them, 
you won't want to put them through that. So I guess better yourself and so you can. But you can't be mad at them if they move on though. Nah, that is what it is. I don't want them to move on. Go live their life. Yeah, but do you think you're like if you're you feel like you meant to be with this person like this is like nah soulmate type shit just or just something to do? It's just you fucking with them. It's like should you even tell them how you feel or should you just like just? Are they, is like, there somebody point? that's worth being in your life at the point? Like, are they worth? If I lose this person, will I feel not lost, but like, will it feel like a loss though? Like, will it feel like somebody on my team that I really fuck with that I like? Yeah, cause like they cool folks. Okay, but not in a way of like, okay, you just, you just like I fuck with you. Like, we cool, we we connect and vibe, but not to that level. Yeah. It depends. Like, are they worth? It, is it into worth you. it? You have to be like, is it worth it to you? Shit, it don't be feeling like it. <laughs> then move on. It fixes your like, grow for the next time for you need sure. to be better. Yeah. I feel like if you got a second guess it, man. Like you shouldn't have the second guess. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Not for sure. Yeah. Mm. Next question is. It's from, well, the last question we're, we're from Kai T. Federal. Talk about sending making it illegal to talk about racial injustice. White people do. Oh, yeah, that shit lame as hell. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Anything white people do, I'm, I'm not sorry, actually. Anything white people do is not surprising. Like, it's, it's to the point where, like, when I learned something new about slavery, like, six shit that happened in the past, be based on like the amount of melanin on somebody else's skin, like the evilness yeah. that is That's capable. True. Like I'm just not shocked. And I'm not gonna be sorry about that. Like y'all ancestors was not sorry. And I get people say, Oh, I'm not my ancestor. She lives through you, just like we kept our trauma, like we have trauma. Yeah. Y'all kept going to that evil shit they too, be low-key. Racist and not even knowing it. Like, oh, I didn't think that was like nigga it was fucked up. In in certain people. And it sucks, but that's how it is. That's just how shit is. Like with slavery, when you learn like how they used to treat slaves, like they used to like whip their feet so they couldn't run away. They would like kill the fetuses and shit like that. That shit was so fucked up. Slice niggas' stomachs open. They used to They used to use. They used to take the baby boys and call them dogs in the house. I'd be like, look at my pet. Like, that shit makes my stomach to, sick. He would have to sleep with the kids. Nigga, like, the, the, like the, the, slave, like the slave's dads used to sell the kids for money, for, like, alcohol and shit like that. Like, the black daddy sold the kids to us white men. That shit. <sighs> That's cool. I heard a new perspective recently. I was my car friends and when it, I, his plug I guess is saying um, that black men like it's not 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 possible but it was pushed on us by white people for black men to be like with other black men right and I'm just thinking like do do you feel like a lot of men nowadays still carry that like, or is it a mindset that makes sense to y'all like white people pushed upon like like in the catholic church you know how that how they do no what they do like in the catholic church like a lot of priests touch little boys oh yeah like, that's they, they have that like situation to like young men and shit like that like gayness and it was came from white people i don't agree with it oh. but i heard it for the first time i was like wait that's, crazy. that's like interesting like i've like, never heard well i don't know because like some people say they born that way and all that shit. And I agree. I agree. So it's like, I don't really know. Like, it, 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 maybe it's a choice they made along the path. I don't really know. Like, white people, a lot of that shit is, like, pushed through, like, social media, in my opinion. Like, a lot of, like, the gay, gayness and being gay and shit. Like, I feel like all that shit was, like, really made profound through fucking the internet and shit. That's how it became prominent. Like, it's, niggas always been gay, but, like, it didn't become, like, a fucking problem and, like, shit like that until niggas can start talking about it on the internet and shit. Yeah. And start making... Because then... Because the internet gave everybody an opinion. 
Yeah. <laughs> what like, percentage of black men do you think are? Or actually, no, black people. Black like people. I'm like, I'm like, okay, like, Shit, goddamn all of them. <laughs> That's a big percentage. Goddamn all of them. Yeah. You want to give me a real like, a realistic view? I said like sixty. I'm higher. Realistic, bro. All of them, bro. All them niggas be old timey as fuck. Unless like they fucking kid is on some on that shit. I feel like it's really a lot of them they don't be fucking with that. Or like they grew up with a sibling that made them change their mind. They grew up with a gay sibling. Most of them folks like be kind of prejudiced towards that shit. <laughs> Do you feel like there's prejudice towards gay people? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's true. There's so many stigmas, so many like assumptions about people that are gay. I feel like now it's Impossible not to. It's impossible for there not to be prejudice. Because there's already so many things for people to run with. They feel like, like, say it's not. Hold it real quick. What?